In this guide, we will walk you through successfully installing a new M.2 SSD in a PlayStation 5. Today, we will be using the Kingston Fury Renegade M.2 Gen 4x4 SSD capable of speeds up to 7300 megabytes per second. This drive is designed with a graphene aluminum heat spreader to keep the drive cool. Do not use an M.2 SSD without a heat dissipation mechanism, such as a heat sink or heat spreader. If you want to add a heat sink to your Kingston Fury Renegade SSD, there are a variety of third-party choices available. To read about heat sinks and how they relate to the PlayStation 5, please visit Sony's Help Center. You will also need a number one Phillips screwdriver, a well-lit room, and a sturdy table to work on. Before starting, make sure you are running the latest PS5 system software update. You will need to turn off your PS5 and remove all cables and devices. Wait a few minutes for your PS5 to cool down. Now that you have your PS5 prepared, your Kingston Fury Renegade SSD, and a screwdriver, you are ready to begin installing. Place your PS5 console on a flat surface with a protective covering and remove the base. Position your PS5 console so that the PS logo is facing down and the power button is facing away from you. Once your PS5 is in position, use your right hand to grip the edge of the bottom right corner and your left hand to grip the edge of the top left corner of the cover. Gently lift the cover up with your right hand. Slide the cover off with your left thumb while using the fingers of your left hand to stabilize your PS5. Or this may happen. Once you lift the cover, you will see the long rectangular cover over the expansion slot secured with one screw at the top. From here, you will need to use a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew and lift away the cover. Be careful not to drop your screw into the console fan. Once the expansion cover has been lifted away, you will see a green area with five expansion slots. Remove the screw and spacer from its current slot. Set the screw aside and move the spacer to the groove that corresponds to the size of your M.2 SSD. Hold the edge of your Kingston Fury Renegade SSD, align it with the notch on the expansion cover, and then starting from a diagonally upward position, firmly insert your drive all the way in. Tilt the SSD down and fasten it to the spacer with the screw. Reattach the expansion slot cover and fasten it with the screw. Reattach the cover by positioning it slightly away from the top edge and slide it back into place. You should hear a click when the cover is secured. Once you have reattached the PS5 cover and reconnected all the cables, it is time to turn on your PS5. When your PS5 turns on and you've logged in, the formatting guide will appear. Follow the on-screen instructions and format your new Kingston Fury Renegade SSD. Do not turn off the power while saving data or while your SSD is being formatted. Doing so may cause data loss, corruption, or damage to your SSD or PS5 console. Now that you have finished setting up your new Kingston Fury Renegade SSD, you will be able to use your new extended storage space by moving the games and apps you've already downloaded onto it or choosing to download games and apps from the PlayStation Store directly onto the SSD. We hope you find this walkthrough useful. If you need assistance, please contact Kingston's technical support team.